Good day, fellow hunters. Uh, this is Jared O'Lantern with another prop review for you. Uh, this is a review. Well, this prop has gone by uh, several different names. Uh, I believe uh, Spirit Halloween has it as the Stitch Witch Sisters, and I think uh, Grandin Road has them as the. Um, Trio Cauldron Sister, or something like that. Um, and but where I got it from, and there's the box right over here. Uh, this is actually from Home Depot, and they named it the Five Foot LED Bewitching Cauldron Sisters. So, <laughs> by far the longest name of all the uh, places that sell it. Th those are the three places that I know for sure sell this. Um, there might be some other um, sites out there that I'm not too familiar with that might be selling it. Halloween Express, I think, might have it. I'm not sure. Um, but it was actually pretty lucky, a lucky find for me because, well, let me take you back a little bit. When I had first started uh, doing my wish list for 2015, um, I knew that I wanted to, and I've said this in, you know, various videos in the past, I knew I wanted to, uh, get a lot of witch props for this year. Um, and then when I saw someone had posted a, I think it might have been Hot, Hot Former, uh, posted kind of like a collage of photos of possible, uh, 2015, uh, props for this year. Um, and a picture of, of these ladies was flashed and I knew I definitely wanted it and um, when I saw the price it was going for on uh, Spirit and Grandin Road and they were both 300 bucks I was like okay well then maybe I might get it on the clearance or maybe get it next year if it's cheaper but um, Home Depot was actually offering it for almost half price which is kind of crazy that's the biggest like price differentiation i've ever seen on halloween props um home depot was offering it for 160 so if you're interested in this prop um i would say definitely go the home depot route it's the same exact thing that i can tell that uh spirit and grandin road are selling um but for 140 bucks cheaper so that's a huge discount it's not like 10 20 bucks that's 140 bucks. That's a whole other prop. So anyway, just uh, uh, before I kind of go into to a detail with the, the uh, with the review here, um, I understand that there are a lot of little you know odds and ends that I need to uh, take care of, like the gaps between the necks just need to be you know velcroed up. Obviously the uh, the yeah, labels need to be taken off, um, but this was just like a really quick kind of a setup because I was anxious to get this video out there. Um, basically, just really anxious to set it up. Um, the setup is very, very, very involved and very long. Um, it's not not really difficult. It's just imagine setting up one large prop, but you're basically having to do it three different times because these are basically like three full-size props in one uh, granted only one is actually animated uh, but still you haven't addressed them the same way and assemble them the same way and not to mention the cauldron itself um, the box reads it's about five feet um, which is about right I think if you go to the tippy top of the center, which is hat, you might reach about six feet. I think uh, Grandin Road um, uh, sells this as a six foot prop. So when I saw it on Home Depot saying five foot, I thought it might have been like a uh, different version, but it's definitely the same thing. They just, you know, different companies have different ways of measuring things. Um, it's, it's amazing. Um, when I put it together, uh, and I was gonna, I always have the intention of doing like a complete unboxing and uh, building of a prop, but <laughs> every time I do that, I just realize it's way too involved. So I'd, I'd rather just not uh, do that and just, you know, have it together for you guys. Um, the setup took about 
maybe 20 minutes. Um, but that's, that's including time in which I thought I had lost one of the arms. So it probably could be better. And again, I understand the sleeves need to cover up, you know, the styrofoam hands. But like I said, this was just a very quick setup. Um, the, the details are just really incredible. I love the witch faces. Um, and, you know, get a load of those eyes. I mean, those are actually, they have like the real pupils in there. You know, it's not just one solid color. And, you know, that's on all of them. And um, this thing is huge. It's really, really big. Um, it's not the tallest prop I own, but in terms of just, you know, just uh, mass, in terms of how much uh, space it takes up, is just, it's unreal. It's incredible. And um, one of my biggest uh, kind of uh, concerns about this prop was that I thought it looked too cartoonish. And uh, I thought it was going to be too, too playful or too, I don't know, too, too childish, basically. But then now that I see it in person, it's definitely not any of those things. It's just super, super professional and, you know, really creepy. Um, so if you are in the, in the market for witch props, um, you know, I loved The Witch of Stolen Souls last year. And I thought that was going to be my favorite witch prop um, ever. Um, until I got this, and this definitely beats out The Witch of Stolen Souls. No offense, Witch of Stolen Souls, I still love you a lot. Um, but there's just a, a lot of great witch props out there this year. Um, and so, there's like I said, there's other odds and ends that I need to uh, kind of work out. The, two, the left and right uh, witch, their hands kind of got in the way of the stirring uh, mechanism so I kind of just tuck them behind the cauldron I know that's not the way it's supposed to be um, I'm gonna read up on the instructions a little bit further I got halfway through the instructions and I started just kind of like uh, doing it on my own and I didn't really worry about what they were saying I just it was pretty much kind of like a pattern do this to the center one do this one to the right one do this one to the left one so I kind of stopped um, really paying attention to the instructions um, but I'll, I'll figure out what to do with their um, hands. Um, let's see, what else? Um, a lot of pieces. J definitely a lot of pieces. Each witch has its own neck structure, its own head, its own hat, its own cape, um, and its own arms. So those all have to be assembled separately. The stirring stick comes in three pieces. Um, the cauldron is one big piece, and pretty much when you open the box, uh, everything is pretty much thrown into the cauldron, um, and you kind of have to like fish everything out of there before you start assembling. Uh, comes with an AC adapter. Um, it does have a try me function. Uh, I thought the try me pad came with it, but I guess not. Um, but let's go ahead and um, turn her on, or turn them on, I should say, and let's give it a run through. Oh, I see. My next ingredient has arrived. If you, the mighty bell, no longer surprise. <laughs> Just one more so I will take in the golden boil and bake. Your youth and flesh, the only price to ensure me of eternal Charm 
So there they are, folks. That is the, um, well, I guess whatever you want to call them. To me, it'll be the Bewitching Cauldron Sisters. Um, yeah, I, I, I have... I have not one complaint about this prop at all, and um, it, it just, it just incredible. I mean, I'm just really happy that I got it for the price that I, that I got it for. Um, so if you, like I said, if you are interested in getting this prop, um, definitely do not get it from Spirit or Grandin Road um, or anywhere else for that matter. I mean, Home Depots are so common throughout the uh, country that I'm sure you'll be able to find one um, that has it in stock or uh, like with me can ship it to you for free um, you know j the details are just incredible uh, the sound it is volume control and I uh, in the video right now I did I did have the volume all the way turned up um, it does have volume control and the the sayings are they're clever they're creepy uh, I just love the fact that, you know, it really does kind of, even though the two witches on the, on either side of the main witch, their mouths don't move, um, they still, you know, like they have the sound effects there of them laughing, and I just love their faces, their faces are, it's like they're just, they're just eager for some shit to go down, you know, <laughs> just like they're just really, really creepy facial expressions, um, I love the fact that they all have like their own... A different color of clothing, their own different color hair, um, the uh, the stirring stick in the cauldron is just an added bonus, and I can't wait to um, set set these ladies up, um, especially with the fog machine. Um, I think with the fog machine, it's going to look even more amazing. There is no specific hose uh, for it's not you know fog machine ca uh, compatible, but um, like, you know, in the cauldron, it's pretty much just like a empty spot down there, so it wouldn't be, be too difficult to, uh, rig it up. Um, so if you haven't guessed yet, on a scale from 1 to 10, I give this prop a 10. I highly recommend it. Um, I know not a lot of people seem to be in the market for witch props. Um, you know, they're more likely to go for zombies and clowns and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, to me, classic Halloween is, uh, a witch. And that was actually the first thing when I was a kid, um, that I was scared by. So, that's the main tool I like to use to scare others, because I think witches are creepy, and this witch trio is definitely creepy. Um, again, I can't, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, like I said, very professional qual quality and um, would really go good in any home haunt. So uh, please check them out. Like I said, definitely try through Home Depot before you go anywhere else. Um, and I think they might be the only store that might have them on display. I haven't seen it, like I said, um, but I know people are saying that they do not have these at uh, Spirit, uh, at least set up. So anyway, Please like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you're seeing, and as always, happy haunting.